G'day folks, this is um, part two of the handlebar install. Um, part two only consists of installing the hot grips. So I've run into a little bit of a problem, but I'll show you what's in the box first. You've got um, your two two grips, obviously one's bigger than the other. That's the big one for the throttle, and that's a smaller one. You've got um, a controller. It's a controller, you get up and down and blah blah blah. It's a smart controller, it turns itself off. Um, if you forget to, you've got a heap of brackets and screws and whatever. It, um, a bit of double sided foamy stuff, some super glue and some zip ties. Alright, I'll just get you down and I'll um, show you what my problem is. Um, now my problem is, all this knurling on here, I can't get that on. So, I think I fixed the problem. I just, uh, because it's only, these bars are only aluminium, I just got the emery cloth and um, went around it like that and uh, made the knurling a little bit not as aggressive so now I can get the get the handle grip on so all I've got to do now is glue it on and also glue the throttle one on the throttle side Righto, make sure she's all clean, and this one, now this one's got still a little bit of rubber left on it from um, taking the old one off, but I think it should be okay, so yeah, a little bag of goodies, we'll grab our super glue out, it'll pierce the lid. stuff. Oh, I just stuck it in my finger. Oh. Rightio, now you got your grips on. Next thing you got to figure out is where you're going to install the bracket. So I'm thinking the bracket's going to go on. Use that bolt. So I might have to bend the bracket a bit, but um, I think it'll go nicely right there. Oh yeah, so I think that'll be alright there, but I might just bend, I might just make a bend there and bend it out. I'll just chuck it in the vise and bend it. Yep, I think that'll be perfect. Now yeah, they give you a couple of different size bolts to put back in there. And these little collars as well, just to bring it out a little bit. So I'll pick that's my original, which is shorter than the, sh the shortest one that they gave. Here it is, there you can't really see that, it's hard to see. My original one's a black one, so I'll try it with the middle size one, see how that goes. Beautiful. Now it's just a matter of hooking up the battery and hooking all these up to the controller. 
Righty yeah, we're almost there. I've got the seat off, I've got the tank off, I've got the front fairing that goes around the light. Now we've just got to run this cable through from the battery up along the frame, up in front of the fork, and then join it up with this sucker. Yeah, so let's do it. I won't hook this one up yet. This one's the power that comes from the battery. I'll hook it up to the battery, then I'll hook, it up, hook this one up to that and we'll test it out. Right, yeah, so I've hooked all the cables up. And I've turned it on. Turn her on, she's on 100%. And that's way hot. It's gonna be so nice during, during winter time. Look, power saving mode. There you go, she's off. So this cable here will get cable tied down inside here, down in behind that. Yeah, you've got to remember to leave a bit of slack for this one because it's the throttle. So you've got to leave a bit of slack so that they can move. Um, these two, this side, put them down inside there. And all this will get cable tied up. And then the power wire runs down runs down here and back along the frame to the battery and she's all sweet right eh? it's all done hope you've enjoyed the video chuck a like on my channel and uh don't forget to hit the subscribe button we'll um catch you on the next video peace out